nature is one form of managing environment. And today more than before, it has become a lucrative enterprise because of the cash benefits. Beekeeping is one of the strong pillars of organic farming for it allows natural fertilization of flowers. Did you know that a healthy hive houses between 40,000 to 50,000 bees at the height of the season? Did you also know that bees carry forage up to 5 miles from their hive including water, pollen and nectar? So, when the buzz is close to you, give way because the workers are busy making honey, which honey is also money for beekeepers. Bee products commonly known are bee wax and honey. But there is the pollen, the propolis and the royal jelly, whose medicine of value is equally vital. Bees make propolis from the sticky resin collected from leaves, flowers and logs. They combine it with beeswax and use it as glue to seal the hive. It's a healthy food but also a cure for many ailments. Margaret Rose Ogaba, a beekeeper from Kitgum under Jelima Holdings, says that by using appropriate technology, farmers can extract propolis for various medicinal use. When we talk about technology, uh, we in Jelima, or as a farmer from Kitgum, all this you see here, we don't use very sophisticated machinery or equipment. We really use mostly appropriate technology, which is rural base friendly because we have to go in for those expensive things because I'm a trainer I cannot go and train my fellow women and other beekeepers with very expensive equipment which they cannot afford yeah so you see these wonderful candles here I have the rose all these candles have names this is sunflower This is Christmas. <laughs> this is Rose, which is my middle name. I like it so much. This is Busting Flame. This one is Bees on the Comb. Another Christmas. Oh, there are so many. This we really use appropriate technology. We have the, the honey wine. We use very simple ingredients. Honey, water, and a fruit called Tubi. Tubi is a... Uh, a local coconut tree bearing the orange flowers. Hmm? And then here, one of the outstanding bees product called propolis. Many people don't know about it, or those who know about it, they ignore it. But it has so many medicinal properties. It has antibiotics, it has antiviral, antifungus, antiseptic, and inflammatory. So even we use simple technology to make this propolis tincture, which is very useful for our health. Sore throat, first aid in wounds, um, cough, name it. Down to Masaka district, in Gulama village, the Baksimi community development project focuses on beekeeping as a way of sustainably managing the environment. Mr. Deo Kiwanuka, a member of the Baksimbi Community Development Project, says that trees are a prerequisite for apiculture. Trees are the habitat for the bees, but also provide nectar for honey production. The flowers will be on. Even in dry season, it is over there. Yeah. And if, any, if, you term, if you come to terms of wood, mm. firewood, excellent. Three days, you can, you can, cook. You can cook. You can cook, yeah. For mm -hmm. goats, mm -hmm. for pigs, for Cows, yeah. chicken and all that, it is good. And yeah. again, it is a, a good uh, nitrogen soil fixer. Yeah. So it is good. And all this, this, this is also good for, for bees, for pollen. The pollen. Yeah, very good. Mm. And they say pollen from these flowers are very, very big. Another part up there. But this is for mainly for fruit, fruit trees, and the beekeeping. His apiary is located in a coffee garden, but he also maintains the indigenous flowery shrubs to attract more bees. He notes that to effectively colonize bees, the environment should be free of pesticides, free of smoke, free from strong odor and irregular noise traffic. 
He says, however, that bees have a protection mechanism of attacking intruders, but frequent exposure to such fears could tempt them depending on the routine of exposure. The Baksimbi Community Development Project is among the many community demand-driven projects meant to benefit communities living around the Lake Victoria Basin. The project of the Lake Victoria Environment Management Project, LAVEMP2, is in charge of this community demand-driven project. But since 2011, the LAVEMP2 in Uganda has failed to support communities around River Katonga catchment of the Lake Victoria Basin. The LAVEMP2 is a regional project under the Lake Victoria Basin Commission, working in the partner states of the East African community. Community demand-driven sub-projects are aimed at helping communities within Lake Victoria Basin to engage in alternative livelihood projects that will enable them reduce degradation of the lake catchment as a way of saving Lake Victoria. Uh, projects like this they sort of reduce the pressure that we currently have on Lake Victoria in, in, times, in terms of uh, being an alternative uh, livelihood in intervention, alternative income generating activity for communities like this group, so that they are able to... ...making in the wetlands or encroaching on wetlands for, for agriculture, that is, it, it, it's a cause of the you know, the stress, environmental degradation in Lake Victoria. As such watch, we are trying to promote this by way of uh, bringing up, highlighting their achievements uh, for, for learning, as well as highlighting their challenges they are facing. Because uh, as we have seen in the meetings that we have held with these communities in Masafan Rakai, there is a challenge of rolling out, of getting the revamp to project uh, funds into to these levels, which can enable the groups to really take off because now they have waited for six months and so, uh, that affects their, their morale and their commitment to these such sort of projects, which are worthwhile in terms of reducing pressures on Lake Victoria. So as such, we shall continue to highlight the, uh, the achievements as well as the challenges uh, to the relevant actors in uh, the World Bank and the use of water and environment, as well as the Lake Victoria Basin Commission that is coordinating the Levem2 project overall in East Africa. Cashing in on apiary, the sweet honey is sweetest for beekeepers, for their pockets are ever oiled with money. Dale explains that he harvests between 8 to 10 kilograms of honey three times a year from each beehive. From his 25 beehives, he sells each kilogram of honey at 25,000 shillings. So, do your mathematics. And count the gains. Mrs. Ogaba observes that through appropriate technology, her range of bee products are highly marketable. She refers to them as beautiful products. Beekeeping is really at my heart. I have a passion for beekeeping. The reason is that beekeeping is holistic. You get good food from the from the bees. That is the honey. You get money from beekeeping that's by selling these beautiful candles the beautiful honey the nice honey wine the caution however is that just like any other undertaking creative measures are required in beekeeping bees need to be enticed to colonize hives if one is to gain from the beekeeping business in the dry season cassava flour sugary syrups and honey are used as endearments to attract bees to the hives but paramount importance is the availability of water close to the hives the intertwining of biodiversity including tree conservation and apiculture is the backbone of bee business mrs ogaba says they conserve even endangered trees like the shenat butter and the palm trees locally known as tugo in Kitgum. Deo equally says they maintain indigenous shrubs to collect a variety of nectar that is needed in the manufacturing of honey. The presence of various tree species gives honey a specialized line of flavor and color, 
which can be a consumer preference in the honey industry. When you look at this honey, you can even see through. You may be tempted to think that I pick it from a supermarket. You see, I'm the one who is taking it to the supermarket. <laughs> and here we use just simple, simple technology of separating the, the honey from the wax. Of course, there are some, when you look at my, our pull-up banner there, we have the solar wax extractor. We have the honey presser. We separate the honey from the wax. And then we have the settling tank, which does wonders, really. When you put, once you put the honey in your settling tank, the honey will become very, very clean after two weeks.